All right, you got. Yes, sir. Yes. You got. Uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Seattle, Washington. Seattle. And tell me about your family. You had both your parents. Oh, uh, my family is uh, fake. They never supported me. In what ways were they fake? Uh, when I like wore girl clothes, my stepdad said, "Oh, you know, going out with me wearing that, go change your shirt." And this started at what age? Oh, actually, that was like 2019. How, how old are you now? I'm like 28. You're 28. Yeah. And my trans birthday is coming up October 21st. So your family didn't didn't approve of your... No, actually, I haven't told my family I'm not uh, trans, and uh, they don't deserve to know that information. So this has been uh, three years or so that you've been... No, I, I left the my home and around like my so-called home in around 2019. Yeah. So about three years? Yeah. You came to LA? Uh, yeah, I came to LA to live with my mom and dad or stepdad. Hmm. And it worked out and they used me for like rent money and, and stuff. How would you describe your childhood in general? My childhood was uh, Different, I guess. In what ways? And like, I was just different. Like in kindergarten, they say, oh, a rest for girls. And I was like wearing these red earrings and I told my mom to take it out. You always felt more comfortable as, as a female? What? You always felt more comfortable as a female? Oh, uh, I, f- I, I feel like it, it changed my life, to be honest. I feel more comfortable now. Yeah. And it makes my skin really soft. What makes your skin soft? Uh, the estrogen. Oh, you're taking the hormones? Yes. I had to get um, my subscriptions not filled until like October. So my, my like breasts have grown and stuff since last time. Mm. And you're living on the streets here in LA? Uh, I, I slept on the bridge with my best friend. I'm not homeless though, I live in Skid Row, but I'm gonna move to a different shelter. Okay. And are drugs a part of your life? Uh, sometimes Coke, uh, occasionally, every so often, I mean, uh, LSD and marijuana. I, I haven't done SSC in a while. Last time I did SEC, I was still up all night on the boulevard trying to sell weed and stuff. And you can find LSD on the streets? Uh, yeah. People just give it to me. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Not all the time. And how do you support yourself? Uh, SSI in like exercising. Exercising? Yeah. People pay you to exercise? No. I just like to exercise and just think about life and stuff. Oh, I see. No, but how do you make enough money to? Oh, uh, SSI. Okay. I, 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 I feel like I shouldn't worry about money because I, I know my future is bright. I'm just taking baby steps, that's all. So what are, you, what are your plans for the future? Uh, my plans for the future, I can't, I can't dictate, uh, it, it dictate my future at all. I, I, I just go with the flow. Because if you think about the future too much, uh, you, you kind of uh, mess it up for yourself. You just go with the flow, and that's how I, that's how I um, navigate. That's how you. That's what you believe. That's how I navigate. Wow. Yes. That's interesting. And as far as becoming more feminine, are there other procedures you want to have done? Oh yeah, like the, the I, I looked up the forehead surgery, and I looked up how they do it it's like some they like pull your scalp back or whatever and then it's like they chisel the bone or whatnot and somehow it's like it, it lowers your your um, hairline yeah and then like the the jaw or whatever and the nose and the eyes so you're looking to have all these procedures done oh yeah and the voice and, and the voice surgery to be more feminine and, and then the Adam's apple, you know, uh, shaved or whatever.
Do you still speak with your family? Uh, I feel like I shouldn't speak to them ever again. Did you ever have dreams of uh, doing anything as a career? Yes. Um, I really don't know, but I want to be a model, but I already know it, like, you have to sell part of your soul to it or whatever, because I did a little research on it. So being a model, you have to sell your... But uh, some, uh, not like a part of your soul, not like selling it. But I, I want somehow to like, like, because my friend has like a, a movie uh, business or whatever, and they want to sign me and stuff. So I can do that instead. Because I have talent. You also have a hell of a lot of face tattoos. Yes, yes. I love face tattoos. Tell me about your face tattoos. Uh, this is Priscilla from my favorite anime, uh, Claymore. And her name's Priscilla, and she got her head cut off, or whatever. And she, and she was uh, the villain. And in, uh, in the anime that has Yoma power, and she fully awakened her power. And she grew like big ass wings and stuff. And she was eating humans on the uh, anime. And this is uh, Aphrodite. She was born on Monday like me. And this is my most recent one. It says unapproachable. And this is Medusa right here, and Vampire. Then V for Vendetta, V for Vendetta. Uh, Priscilla again. Then I have China and Asia and Japan. I have a bunch more. Do you have friends? Uh, Amber, crazy. Emmy, Cat, and like inter internet friends. I really don't have friends like that though. Yeah. But I have a, a Baja Blast, Shoddy God. I mean, Ace Quitter, he changed his name to Ace Quitter. Uh, Sicky, my tattoo artist. What emotions do you go through living this lifestyle? Uh, it's, uh, I overthink a lot and it's a lot of emotions, I guess. It's a lot of emotions. You, de you depressed I, my, or angry or? Uh, one of my friends is in a coma and I feel devastated. I don't want him to die because I used to live with him. His name's H. Lo. I don't want him to like. Why is he in a coma? I don't know. He was found unconscious and it's, uh, it's, I've been losing rest over it, mm. but I got a rest last night though. Would you describe yourself as self-destructive? Uh, what does self-destructive mean? Like you'll you'll do things to get in the way of your own happiness or advancement, Like getting a face full of t tattoos might slow you down a little bit in terms of being a model. No, actually, uh, I love my face tattoos. No, I understand you love them. Yeah. But you have to understand that they, they might get in the way of... I'll, I'll just figure uh, something out. I, I could just go uh, do acting with my friend. I could work my, w with my friends instead because they know my friend that uh, self overdosed himself off Coke. He makes his Coke... Uh, Coke with fentanyl and he self overdosed and I heard it from her his girlfriend. What are you afraid of? Uh, what am I afraid of? Uh, losing my best friend. Do you think you're misunderstood by most people? Uh, most of the population, yeah. Does that trouble you or you're comfortable with it? Uh, it doesn't trouble me it, because you feel out, I don't have haters, you're not doing it right. Do 
if you had your life to live all over again, are there any things you would have done differently? No. You got, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Always cherish the people that um, care about you. Because I have a lot of people that care about me. That's great. All right, you got. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Be careful out there. All right. All right. Thanks.